don't know what I've let myself in for, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a day out with Ricky in his van to, I think, a pond, which would be nice. Continue straight to stay on Western Avenue. Yes. Might have to do all that again. He doesn't. Yards at the roundabout, continue straight to stay on Western Avenue. The thing is, we're only leaving Worthing and he hasn't a bloody clue where he's going. <laughs> We've got another 48 hours of driving yet at this rate. <laughs> I was just wondering whether you might just fit some suspension in this van. <laughs> <laughs> for all my shots, <laughs> it's as wobbly as anything. Well, you're the professional. You, you must have auto stabilisation and <laughs> things like that in your arms and your. <laughs> Even on a GoPro, which I'm not shooting on at the moment, would suffer. <laughs> Are you looking forward to our trip, Ricky? With anticipation, high anticipation of a, of a grand day out with yourself. Where are you actually taking me? I have no idea. Exit the roundabout onto Crockhurst Hill. Gloria Continue Google is on A27 for seven miles. speaking. I've just typed in a random location. Continue on A24 for two miles. And we're just going to head in that direction. And come what may. We have arrived. Before we go anywhere, one has always got to change one's footwear. Oh, sorry. Here we are, miss. Well, Ricky, we have a. Well, I've said we've arrived. We said that when I was changing my feet. Yes. Um, changing your feet. My shoes. My, <laughs> my boots. We have a. What, what, what I was trying to get to is we have arrived at um, Iping Church. That's right, yeah. The Church of St. Mary's. St. Mary's at Iping, yeah. which above the door there is a little uh, notice to say that um, it was the porch, anyway, is 1883. I don't know anything about it. Have you done research on this? I have done none. Oh, you've done none, as much as that, which is uh, twice as much as I've managed to do. <laughs> um, we are out on a very windy, blustery day, so I'm going to apologise up front if the sound quality is realistic. Um, shall we see if the church is open? Yeah, shall we? Yeah. Sh well, I've shall we? I've been in here, so... No. After you, I'll let you do all the handiwork, because oh, I am holding the camera. The hard work. <laughs> yeah. There's a little smirk on your face there, Rick, Ricky. <laughs> Is that... we're, too, we're too busy laughing, and we shouldn't really, because no. we're, we we are are place place. <laughs> we're in a place of reverence. And um, <laughs> the thing is, we just, we just did a lovely sequence, and then I said, oh, goodness sake, be careful with my language in the church, uh, I didn't press the button, so we didn't record it. The essence of which was, I said to Ricky, let's walk down the aisle, skipping, skipping arm in arm, looking rather lovingly at one another as we head to the altar and for reasons best known to himself he said not bloody lightly. Uh, no so. you're all right on that one. <laughs> but anyway what we were seriously saying is it's a it's a lovely charming but obviously a Victorian church. Yeah. I can't even see any really original bits it's as if the if there was a church here which there probably was it must have been so dilapidated that it they was just knocked it down it, yeah. and started again. Yeah, rebuilt. Yeah. So we don't really know, but it's got some very charming, um, quite austere stained glass windows. Yes, they are nice. I have to say. But lovely browns. Difficult to get those stains out, of course. Yeah. yeah. It is. 
we managed to find the um, light switch, as you just saw, which hasn't made a huge amount of difference, to be honest with you, but it uh, gives the place a bit more home, homely atmosphere, doesn't it? Actually, I quite like those lanterns. You know, that's a very old-fashioned looking yeah. lanterns. But listen, we could spend a long time nattering at the value of the church and we wouldn't get anywhere. There's no. a nice, miserable, windy, wet day and sloshing mud ahead of us. Oh, I can't think of anything better. <laughs> I can't wait to get onto it. <laughs> so this is St. Mary's in Iping. We're now, where are we going next? Um, we're going to head down, are we going to head down and have a look at the river, quick? Are we? The bridge? Yeah, we can we do. We can do. Yeah. Um, Throw ourselves a, in. That, yeah, that, launch ourselves in. Um, there's a public footpath just around the rear of the church that takes across the field towards a, another church of much older, older origin. Let's do it. Oh, crack on. Oh, I should just remind you, you must spray before you <laughs> pray. Spray before you pray. This is one of those moments where I say to the person I'm walking with, this is a dialogue sequence. As neither of us have actually got a script or anything actually to say. <laughs> but you, there's a rhythm in filmmaking. And, and this is not it. <laughs> and you see the wide shots, us walking, going through stiles and clambering over gates, or the other way around. And then there's a sequence where your actors have to talk. That's what this is. Yes. Although actually we haven't advanced the story. No. <laughs> in any <laughs> shape or form. However, we over here look, let's, uh, we are walking through what I think, Ricky said, I don't know what this is. What was this crop? And it's a, a sort of an orangey crop, whoops. And I said, I think this is oilseed rape. Not too sure, or the it. end of it, but it might not be now. When I say it's now, I mean it may never have been. Well, it might have been something completely different, but there's, there's masses of it, isn't there? Yeah. Huge amount of it. If you know, keep it to yourself. Yeah. No, do tell us, let us know what it is. It's, a, it's obviously a spent crop and it's, um, but that's what I thought it might have been, but I'm dubious now. Mm. What's the, um, what's the crop with the, the blue flower that they use for pig feed. Brussels sprouts? No. No? <laughs> no. Um, um, it begins with a C. Crop? No. Oh, I can't think of it. It's... C crocuses? No, it's not crocuses. Um, crikey? I don't know. Uh, that, that's probably the one. Yeah. How, for, how close? Corn, no, not cornflakes. Corn, uh, not not cornflakes, corn no. <laughs> how far are we from the next church? Um, well, we've just come from the other church. We've walked across the field. You've seen we've come yeah. through a couple of... Um, so it's another four miles, yeah? Yeah, yeah, another 40 odd miles and we'll reach our next destination, which right. is the, uh, the other church of St. Mary. Should be nice. <laughs> Titanic, come on Titanic, come on Titanic. Oh. oh. Hit an iceberg. But it did go it <laughs> did it did get there before you. Yes, you, so, you seem to have won that. Yeah. It's nice things like this takes you back to your kind of childhood. Yeah. Enid Blyton kind of stuff. When I was a kid, I remember standing on a bridge very similar to this and what reminded me is my mates threw me in. 
<laughs> really? Yeah. You, you, were, you were the biggest stick. Yeah. yeah. I'm only joking, Richard. Thank you. Are you a horsey man, Ricky? Yes, I love love horses. They're great. I haven't um, I haven't ridden in years, so that's something I'd like to do again, definitely. Yeah, yourself? No, I've never. I don't think I've ever ridden a horse. Yeah, it's an experience. I, I think um, the lovely Julia. She she loves them. She, she loves, loves them. horses. Yeah, yeah, especially ones as lovely as this. An obliging way, avoiding the camera. <laughs> what, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think it is? Is it a sheep or a what? Oh yeah. <laughs> Nah. Ooh. I thought you could put your finger right the way through it. But <laughs> you know you can't. Whereas with mine, you... I don't know, is it a ram's... Is it a ram... I think it must be a, a ram's head, isn't it? Because of the, uh, yeah, it could be because don't of the go ones. into the church. Oh. Right, thanks. Don't go into the church. But we're going to. So this is Chithurst Church, St Mary's at Chithurst, which I always find as a funny name. But look, um, it does look like a, definitely an old downland church. Um, just very basic really, almost just as maybe as the Normans changed the Saxon part of it, maybe it's Saxon, who knows. Yeah. But there's a sure. timber frame porch in the front here, which looks great. Shall we see if we can go in? Yeah, let's see if it's, fingers crossed. Well, this is really nice. I like this. It's got a tall chancel arch there, which sort of tends to say to me it's early Norman or possibly Saxon. I think I said that right at the beginning, <laughs> before we came in, but it, it's not changed much. It's been, you know, looked after a bit, but it's not had too much Victorianisation. The stained glass windows are obviously more modern, probably Victorian. Um, and they've, I think they've just pointed the, the brickwork and you know, looked after it a bit, but it's it's definitely an early church. The roof has probably been seen to in, I don't know, 1700, something like that, maybe, probably a few hundred years old, but other than that, I think it's pretty much as a downland church you would expect to find in the middle of the Downs or a rural place like, we're not really in the Downs, are we here? No, no, we're not. So forget I said it was a down yeah, in church. A church. That's yeah. a bit of rubbish, just, just, <laughs> just there. But it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's very pretty, isn't it? Probably bloody freezing in the winter. Well, I can imagine. You can imagine in those if this was a Norman church, how cold it would have been in, in winter times. Yeah, it would have been freezing. But it's very, it's very, very picturesque. It's lovely. And it kind of sums up to both of us what a church. I think, really you know, in the middle of nowhere, yeah. I'd, I'm not a great fan of these Victorian. No. I mean, the thing about Victorians is they say what was falling to bits. Yeah. So they had to be done. But churches like this, to me, is the essence of who we are. Yeah, yeah. Very you much know, so. very humble. 
although I'd never really thought of you as being terribly humble. <laughs> well, you had to get that one in. We've left the church to rot. No, no, don't be silly. We've left the church behind us yes. and we've just tracked up a little pathway here, yes. uh, the lane, and we've yeah. come to a monastery. Um, as you can see there with a the signage, which I have to say reminded me a bit of a dartboard, but let's cross that bridge. Yeah. Um, and what kind of nunnery um, monastery is it? It's a Buddhist monastery. The clue was in the title. I didn't read it actually. Is, is that what it's saying? <laughs> yes. This is Chithurst Buddhist. Oh, this is a Chithurst Buddhist. I think there's um, I think there's a Buddhist man coming. Are you sure? Oh, now that I see the sign, of course yeah. I can see what you mean. Yeah. 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 Um, the, the man that we saw carrying a silver bowl that I thought was probably carrying something reverent, um, like ashes of some you know important um a the relic nature, of yeah. some um ancient what do you call them those people those saints or something yeah. you know it turns out that it was a woman with a shaved head who was a nun from the nunnery yes which apparently is just around the corner and so. they come down here to get their dinner <laughs> yeah it was just an empty tupperware bowl she was yeah carrying. We've taken a side turning, Ricky. Yes, we have. Stating the obvious. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to you, but the audience don't know that. No. And what we're hoping is that this side turning um, will take us around Hammer Pond. Yes, Hammerwood and Hammer Pond. Hammerwood and we Hammer Pond. We are presuming that this was the path. We kind of went off the beaten track slightly and well, we nearly got run down by that very narrow road yeah, with right, a yeah. car hurtling towards us at James Bond speeds, yeah. about three miles an hour. So um, we hope that this will navigate around the pond, take us back to the van where we can have that lovely cup of coffee you keep promising me. Yes, maybe. This might be the last time you see Ricky in one of my videos, just saying. <laughs> I'm glad we actually took the wrong path otherwise we wouldn't have seen this lovely woodland just come up onto a ridge here above where we were walking we're sort of effectively coming back on ourselves because we've had to cross a stream now you you may be wondering when this video is going to end so are we <laughs> this might be an extended version um, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the weather unfortunately is uh, a little um, overcast and it's just getting darker and darker. And I hope that doesn't affect the colors in the here, but I'm just saying to Ricky, actually in all seriousness, although we've been prattling about a bit and that is one of the dangers of two comics getting together. Um, or two idiots. Or t two idiots. Yeah. I've actually thoroughly enjoyed this. Yeah, it has been lovely, isn't it? Just to let one's hair down. That's right, Richard and Ricky out on a walk. Yeah. A couple of, couple of dicks out on a walk. Lovely. finally got down to the to the lake and it's a beautiful lake it's 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 very large I mean it's not huge you know but it's large how do you define the size of a lake it's it's beautifully large I've crept down oops sorry about that I've just crept down to the the edge I'm not quite sure where the edge is and the the, the water begins and the the ground gives way but 
it's fantastic. Being a hammer pond, one assumes that it's connected with the old iron forges and the iron hammers in this part of um, Sussex, all quiet now, but would have been full of fire and furnaces back in the day. It's quite amazing to think of that. We're back at the van, as you can see. Had a fantastic walk. Uh, Ricky has been great company. We've had a lot of fun banter. But if he doesn't make a bloody cup of coffee soon, I'm going to be bashing him over the head. <laughs> but he's working on it, so that's all good. Ah, we've had a laugh. I hope you've had a laugh with us. Well, the, I was going to say the coffee, but we've actually been having tea. And it's been very nice. I've been using the coasters as well. You have. Yes, good man. I've yes. been a very good boy. Sensible. Good. Good lad. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. We've had a very refreshing drink and a good old natter. We've talked about vans and various bits and bobs. And, Definitely, yeah, yeah. And it was good fun. And hopefully we'll do it again. Absolutely. Maybe not get lost this time. Though. No. And uh, maybe we'll probably have to wait for the spring now to do an overnight somewhere because yeah. it's just getting dark in yeah, the evenings very early. In bed by four, that would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. see, he's just like a dad, isn't he? Tell me. <laughs> Get in bed by four, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you. It was great. Pleasure fun. as always. Loved yeah. it, yeah. yeah. If, you en if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Tell us that you would like to see more of Ricky and me getting up to mischief. If you hated it, don't to leave a comment at all. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully see you in the future. Till next time. Cheers. Bye for now. That is disgusting. <laughs> oh.